Early in 1981, in New York, a new and strange disease appeared. Health authorities reported that it was deadly in most cases. It appeared to work by disabling human immunity to illness. First, the new disease was called GRID, gay-related immune deficiency. All the first cases had indeed occurred in people active in the gay community of the city. The gay movement had gained increasing assurance during a decade of mobilization. When the talk of a new gay-related disease began, the movement felt strong enough to withstand the new wave of discrimination. Stars like Rock Hudson, by admitting they had AIDS, stood up for the gay liberation movement against those who said the illness was a godsend punishment for homosexuality. AIDS, at first exclusively an American affair, was from the very beginning a political issue too. Bradley Ball, a New Yorker, is infected with the AIDS virus. A spokesman of the gay pressure group, ACT UP, he is committed to fighting discrimination and getting better health and social care for AIDS patients. He is bitter about the poor initial responses to the problem and the dismal situation of people with AIDS. Well, what we found since the advent of the AIDS crisis is how it initially was used to segregate the gay community from what was, what was consistently referred to as uh, the greater community, uh, treating us as an other, as a separate entity and not part of the general population. Uh, since that time, since the spread of the disease has gone further into the IV drug user community and by, as a consequence, has begun devastating the black community and the Hispanic communities and women in general in this city, it's pointing out not only what we once thought was a latent homophobia in society, but what's becoming a very generalized misanthropy in society. Uh, because of the nature of the disease that it's affecting the so-called disposable populations, there hasn't been a rush to put much pressure towards research, towards development of cure, towards making drugs available, towards treating the people who need the treatment because these people are the so-called disenfranchised of this nation and have no real power, therefore. In 1982, the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control in the United States, announced that 34 of the then 700-odd AIDS cases were people from Haiti. Haitians were classified as the highest AIDS risk group. AIDS and Haiti were linked in headlines all over the world. I mean, Haitians really suffered, I mean, very stigmatized. From that moment on, I mean, AIDS changed overnight from being a gay plague to a Haitian disease. Um, there was no evidence that the Haitian cases predated the American cases. It was really, I think, based on racism. As soon as it appeared in black people, they decided, well, black people must have brought it to the United States. And